G'day. So today I wanted to bring to you a video just to show some of the artwork that I have in the background of my videos. So the first one I wanted to show you is what I refer to as the big bugger. So you can see that there's a nice flowing creek, some villages, some rocks, waterfalls, and just a few people. So this is an artwork that I've had for a little while. Um, this one here is uh, is like a stone ceramic type artwork. So it's like what they might do for uh, vases and stonework, but they've done it as a painting. So if you listen, it's uh, a stone, so it's very, very heavy. This is probably about 15, 16 pounds of weight. So I'm always very cautious to hang this one because I'm worried of it falling down. So this is a frame that I've purchased and um, a friend of mine has uh, a couple of HP large format printers and I support his computers and uh, any problems that he's got and he's been a friend of mine for about 20 years so this is he has a large library of images and I was going through his images to try and find one to print and this is one that caught my eye so he has a collection of vintage posters and uh, this was one straight away that stood out to me and I thought that uh, some of my subscribers might like this one. So this one here is a, a vintage poster and it must be for some type of railway, Northern Pacific Railway and uh, going through the Montana Rockies. So this might be uh, 50 years, 100 years old. But I really like that image. So I have this frame now that I can interchange pictures and just easily hang it up. It's lightweight, very easy to work with. I also have the image, the Van Gogh image, starry eyes. So uh, I really like this image and I like the style of the artwork. And um, I thought it would go well with some of my uh, relaxation videos as like uh, something to help. Uh, not to help put you to sleep, but just to give you a nice relaxing image to look at. So that's the Van Gogh Starry Eyes. So again, that was from my friend's collection of images that he has. Uh, what's this one? Oh, no, you're not allowed to look at this one. I'll see if I can give you a little glimpse. Uh, so that's one that hangs up in the bedroom. Here is a nice watercolour artwork. So this is similar to the Chinese one, similar style, but this one here is a watercolour. Uh, we've had this framed in a nice frame, so that's another one that I've got that you would have seen in some of my videos. This was the first piece of artwork that I had printed. So this has been printed up onto canvas. It's been framed. So this is a canvas print from my uh, friend's printer. So this was one of the first ones that I got done. And that's the Kismet, uh, the artist Kismet, and it's called The Kiss. So this, this is uh, quite a nice artwork, it's a very, very popular piece. It's uh, apparently a very popular piece during Valentine's, so it's something that, uh, an artwork that will show love and affection to a uh, lady or a man, and uh, it's a very, very popular piece of artwork, and it's very unique style of artwork, so it's very different, but it's a type of artwork where many, many types of people will like it, so it's a very popular piece for love and affection and kissing and things like that. 
Okay, so this one here is a very interesting piece. This one's um, my friend basically uh, stapled it to a um, frame. And this is um, by an artist in the UK, and his name's Banksy. And what he does is he does graffiti artwork. So apparently, I don't know all of the details, this is just what I've been told, is that um, he will go to a location and he will create some type of artwork similar to this, and uh, he will disappear, So, like a graffiti artist. But his artwork is... Uh, very nice as you can see so apparently nobody knows who this artist is he is a unknown graffiti artist in the uk his name is uh, banksy and some of his work is uh, very very nice so this was my favorite piece um, and this is probably one of his more favorite pieces um, that's that he's created so uh, this one he looks quite nice This one here is just a simple piece of artwork in a nice frame. Uh, it's something that I put up in like my Dr. Dimitri videos. It's something that you might expect to find in a doctor's office or something like that. So it's quite suitable for that. And it always helps just to have something in the background. Uh, what's next? Okay, I have something in here which is like a little bit of a lucky dip. I haven't even opened this yet. So, we'll go back to here. So this should be a canvas print of the world. So this was given to me. So this is just a print of the world onto canvas. So, I'm not sure whether it would be suitable to put as a background in my videos. But I thought um, it was given to me, so I thought it'd be good just to um, hang up maybe in my baby's room. And as he grows older, I can uh, point out different countries, and just so he's familiar with all the different countries of the world. Sorry about that. So understanding where all other countries are in the world is a um, good learning tool for my baby as he wakes up, as he grows up. So what's in here, I do not know, but it looks to me that there's another image of a of a map. More images of maps, here we go. I thought they were different, but it looks like I've now got multiple world maps. How interesting. So in the future, as I find more images that I like, I'll be able to get them printed and put into the frame. So I'm slowly trying to find more pictures that I like that I can put into them. So this looks to be the same. This is the same as the canvas one. But this one's printed onto paper. Okay, so that is just a quick video of some of the artwork that I have. Um, there's the other photos that's in the main room, that's the three painting photo, which you're familiar with from some of my other videos. I didn't want to pull those down. 
So that's the whole, um, the main bulk of my artwork. So now that I've got just a, a small lightweight frame that I can hang in the background and that I have access to a large format printer, as I find images that I like, I'll uh, have them printed over time and then I can um, change the, the paintings and the images that I have in the background. So I hope you enjoy this video and just a brief explanation on some of the artwork that I have and how I can just change the artwork in the background of my videos. Thank you.